Hello, my name is Alex and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about toners and specifically why do they sometimes burn and are they supposed to do this? Unfortunately, especially in American advertising, we've been hammered over the head with you have to feel it working for it to actually be working. Especially this is targeted towards teens with acne problems, which is really unfortunate because that's one of the times in your life when you'll have the most issues with sensitive skin. You'll see slogans like zap that zit or along those lines. Um, this is complete BS. You don't need to have a physical reaction for your skincare to be working. This seems to be mainly an American thing and I'm hoping it goes away because it really needs to die. <laughs> Uh, most toners are a very watery Floramila. Uh, up here I have a Pyung Can Yule, and this is just, I believe, horsetail root extract in water. Um, this is a Korean product, and I don't have the box with me. Everything on the back is in Korean here. Um, but most toners are just botanical extracts, so maybe like licorice root extract or Centella Asiatica extract. And these should never have a feeling on the skin. These go on after you cleanse your skin before serums and moisturizers, and it should never burn or have a painful sensation. The only time a toner should have a sensation is if it's an active ingredient that exfoliates. For instance, like the Ordinary, they have a 7% glycolic acid solution toner, and this chemically exfoliates your skin. The glycolic acid loosens dead skin scales and excess sebum and oil and helps exfoliate that gently away. If you have extremely sensitive skin, it might have a gentle tingling sensation, and that's normal. Most chemical exfoliants like AHAs and BHAs, like salicylic acid, uh, lactic acid, that kind of thing, it will sometimes have a very gentle sensation, but it should never burn or sting. If you are using chemical exfoliants and it does feel uncomfortable or even painful, there's a couple reasons for this. Either it's too strong for your skin, say this is a 7% uh, solution here. That's about medium in what's available to the public over the counter. It's not the strongest out there, but it is substantial. So if you had very sensitive skin, this could be um, almost uncomfortable or painful to you. And if you do find that out, drop it and just try to find a milder product. Another reason it could feel uncomfortable is if you're using too many products that have active ingredients all at once. If your cleanser, your moisturizer, your serum, all have active ingredients like an AHA or a BHA that's way too much all at once and you need to downsize that a bit. Um, if you load it up on all of the steps of your routine you're probably stripping your skin barrier because it can only take so much. So consider looking through what you're using and just drop the unnecessary steps or you can alternate them every other day just to make sure you're not overloading your skin. The other option it might be that you're using it too often. With a chemical exfoliant, you really don't need to be doing this twice a day or even every day. Um, if you do have oily skin or um, active breakouts, you might be able to use it every day and see more results from that from doing it maybe every other day. But I would recommend only do it at night. Don't do it morning and night because your skin just simply does not need to be exfoliated that much. Um, I personally have dry, kind of sensitive skin, and I'll use something like this like two to three times a week max, and that's great for me. The other thing, if you're not using a chemical exfoliant and it's burning, it could be an expired product, or you might actually be allergic to something in it. A, sp a big culprit of what you'll find in toners, especially targeted towards like acne, they'll add things like menthol or mint or tea tree oil and specifically tea tree oil and those are all very strong uh, ingredients that leave like a cooling sensation and low concentrations and if they're higher it'll actually burn um, unfortunately especially with acne products we're just told over and over that that cooling or that tingling sensation means it's doing its magic and it's just BS so 
if you can feel your product burning, drop it. Put it in the trash. You don't need that in your life. Um, but that's pretty much it. The only other thing is if you do have a product that starts burning out of nowhere, like it didn't give you any effects in the past, you could have broken skin. Um, if you do, like you just had a pimple that popped, or if you gave into temptation and squeezed something, um, that broken skin will uh, be a little painful if you put an active ingredient on it. It's like when you use rubbing alcohol on a cut or peroxide on the cut to disinfect it. You have that broken skin and it's getting into deeper layers than it really should be and that's why it will feel like that. So just give your skin a couple days to heal and it should be fine down the road to continue using. But I will have a link in the description to an article that goes really in-depth on this on different toners and why it might burn or react. And I'll also have links to some different uh, studies that reference everything I was talking about here. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. I, this is the kind of thing I like to do every week. I do a lot of articles and I'll try to do more videos in the future. I love to debunk skincare myths or new product phase crazes that are coming out and really get into the nitty gritty of the science of it. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'd love to chat with you. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.